hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to see how to create a very simple and unique way to logo reveal animation in after effects so let's see how to make this animation so first you should take your logos so i took a apple logo so just drag it into your timeline and now if you're going to see, you can see the logo is was bigger than your frame so just you need to adjust the size so just select the layer and press yes for the scale and just hold the alt control and custom small is sizing logos it's i think it will be good and now make sure it align your logos into your frame so then i right click your logo i mean layer and then uh, pre composition you can see here you can create for say our template layer so you can easily customizing your logos laterally by the template so let's click create s and move all the attribute to new composition so click ok now so and rename it as logo and now in going to be effect and preset panel and type fill and drag it into a layer and make it at white so cool and now we're going to make a three layer uh, three additional uh, sorry two additional uh, layers for this uh, layers so for the duplicate of your layer the shortcut was control d so control d two two times you can add, rename is for your for if you're going to say first one for your outline uh, outline animation so i'm going to set the uh, name as logo outline and the second one will be a same the uh, we know to make any adjustment in your uh, logos and the uh, first one will be name is logo linear wipe so we're going to be apply the linear wipe so now we're going to uh, working on the uh, third layer the logo outline layer so just click the dot line you can see usually you can see i mean show the one layer only so we're going to be add uh, some effects so just go to effect and preset panel and type gradient four colors so you can see the four color gradient in the generate tab drag it into your our logo outline layer and now delete this fill and you can see the four colors we can use the four colors by this uh, effect so you can customize your colors by these four uh, pick up point uh, tools so i get choose uh, wisely but uh, majorly we all use three colors only so just come to close of your logos and cool now uh, it's like like instagram logo uh, theme so cool not bad and now go to the again and see so i mean again for effect and preset panel and type cc radial blur you can see get it on the blur and sharpen tab drag it into your outline layer and now make it at you can see you can see that blur. by the adding this blur you can the show it will be glowing like with so i could choose a 40 for minimum amount will be cool now and then again the third one will be radial wipe so if you type for wipe or radial you can get it in this transition tab so it radial wipe into add it in the layer the third effect and can adjust the keyframes in this layers i mean this is effect to make this a glowing lining effect uh, begin your logo edges so let's you can see the variety of options the transition completions but you can see how how the i mean you can use a bar chart you can see you can get a shape so if you uh, adjust the layer level a percentage you can get a, a part of your logo shape so 
and now you can maybe want a clockwise or anti-clockwise and both side if you can adjust it and if you apply the blur too because it's very be hard you can see if we need to smooth edges you can be add a feather too so i can choose 160 and start angle you can uh, by this angle you can rotate the shape so we're going to be add a uh, two key frames here the first one is a transition completion and the second one will be the short angle so start angle sorry and zero and make the start of your either i mean start of your timeline and turn on the timer button in the transition completion and the start angle while you make it it's 100 to wise wise out and now move to each second and make it a circle start angle will be complete one circle i mean 360 degree and now if you want to see the keyframes you know layer select the layer and press u key you can get a uh, visual you can view the keyframes and here you can add or remove your keyframes by by these values currently available currently set in your effect so you can make the 102 and now go to the two second and make the transition completion value will be 90 and here the six second make the same 90 so now play the video you can see and now make it fit so cool and now you can need to turn on your second layer this logo too as so i just do those and now you can play if you want to close the frame press the n it's automatic current trim indicator so now we can play the well but it is not showing brightly so we because our backdrop will be black so we need a, a white backdrop so right click here add a new and the solid layer you can see the white i can make it white so you can rename as pg so my background okay now drag it into bottom and lock it so we don't need to worry about the background so now play this video you can see make it fit so you can see it's showing out the edge of your logo so look like a nice so now if you want to make it it fast select the all the keyframes and right click it keyframe assessment and ecc so get a smooth easy and easy out output so now better than the before i think show so if you want to moving fast to a line select the all the free frames and hold the hold to move forward to reduce the distance between your keyframes you can make it at your logos too fast so if you if you think this is still slow make it the uh, keyframes to close now play it and it's doing it too fast so meter away okay cool now so from here you can see the logo will be glowing out store of edges now it's disappear here here, here after this space you can to reveal your logo so we're going to be a uh, turn on your the third uh we're going to add a third layer and the logo linear wipe so in this layer we're going to change the fill color into black so we need to get it show the difference in your logos so if you want to change your logo color you can choose any other colors too so and now going to effect and preset panel and type a uh, linear sorry linear wipe into the transition tab so drag it into your logo linear wipe so you can see the same as well as in the radial wipe so in logo linear wipe uh, you can adjust the transition completion by this percentage value and you can set a angle and how much you want to give a further to smooth animation so i give choose uh, 600 for this animation 
so now and now you can see this outer edge slide will be disappear here from here it going to be swap uh, your original logo so here uh, set a keyframe for 100 and turn on the timer button and move away from this lost keyframe and make it it zero and now you can show the keyframe for the logo even don't forget it i think so uh, just like pose a uh, so just press the key in your paper that key is u so sorry <laughs> i have pressed it wrongly and u so you can see the keyframe show so don't forget to make the easy easy the shortcut will be a fine or right click here and key uh, keyframe assist and easy easy so cool and now you can play it from the start and outer edges will be glowing and then the logo will be appear i think uh, this animation will be done successfully so i hope you will like this tutorial and if you like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and support me and don't forget to give your comments in below so it will be helpful for my tutorial and my upcoming videos so give your comments and your thought and if you want to learn any more thing just come and i will post a tutorial for this too so here after the one more tips is if you can easily uh, change a logo for uh, this animation so if you create this animation you can easily apply for all the logos so how i will change it i will show so you just click the logo layer you can see this is a, another one layer this is a comp layer so you can easily change your logo i will show you and now i can took the batman logo here and paste it here so you can doesn't see where the background will be a uh, very black so just add a fill and now i resize the logo so it's not a fit for this and make it, it fit and now go to the comp now play it again so cool uh this will be happier so it's so big thing i think make it small and now play it so like this you can change the variety of your logos from your client or your friends whatever so it's is very useful and very customizing editable one hi thank you guys and hope you like this so support me but don't forget it and thank you guys have a nice day bye